How you doing, fam? This is Chris Mizzo here. I have some very interesting information about Intel's 14th generation processors. There is some new info that everybody would like to hear, and it may pertain to you because some of it could be actually some pretty good news, especially if you already have Intel's newest processors, like the 12th generation or the 13th generation, hint, hint. But anyway, I am still testing the Asus ROG Ally. I'm giving it a thorough test because I want to make sure how well it exactly works. Don't worry, the review will be up soon. And as soon as it is, if I don't have it posted already, make sure to tune in into my channel to check out the Asus ROG Ally review. But anyway, to get to the point, this is not about Asus's ROG Ally. This is going to be about Intel's 14th generation processors. If you know or if you don't know, Intel is planning to rebrand their processors. They are no longer going to go with i5, i7, i9. Instead, they're just going to go with the plain numbers such as Intel 5, 7, and 9. It just makes a whole lot more sense. And it's almost like amd side where they go amd ryzen 5 7 and 9 so instead of them going just i5 i7 and i9 they're gonna go say intel 5 and there will be an intel 5 ultra now more than likely when the ultra gets released there's gonna probably be some additions in there maybe it's gonna have more of a integrated graphics or maybe they will have some sort of signature in there such as ai in their processes to make sure that it will offload the workload and make your process on your PC usage a lot more simpler. We'll get into that a little bit later and more than likely you're gonna hear say Intel's 14900K. Well, it would be more like Intel's 914900K Ultra and that may be for gaming or for even content creators out there that are looking for more to get out of their processors. And also, I do have some great news for everybody out there. For those who already upgraded to Alder Lake and Raptor Lake, for those who already have Intel's 1700 socket, their 14th generation processors may be actually able to fit inside of your Z690 or your Z790 boards. So you don't have to worry about a brand new motherboard. You don't have to worry about the brand new socket just yet. For now, the 14th generation will also be compatible with Intel's 1700 socket. So all you have to do is really just upgrade the BIOS. Once you upgrade the BIOS, then you won't have any type of issues. Maybe you'll have some little issues as you know from the prior generation when you put Raptor Lake inside of a Z690. There was some performance issues in the beginning, but of course it will clear over. But the point is that even though you get a brand new 14th generation processor, you don't have to worry because more than likely it's gonna actually end up fitting in your Z690 or your Z790 board. A known leaker, ECSM, thanks to him, he has gave out a lot of this information. And if you're interested in seeing uh, any of the information that he shared, I will have the link right down below if you wanna look a little bit further into it. To get to the point, the new 14th generation will be partly be a Raptor Lake refresh and a Arrow Lake release. It's gonna be interesting to see, see at the least what they will offer because as you know, if they come out with the refresh for Raptor Lake, more than likely they will also increase the frequencies in the CPUs and not only increase the uh, frequencies, but also have more compatibility when it comes to PCI Express 5 and it will make room for faster DDR5 memory. So that's always a great plus, especially if you don't really have to upgrade a motherboard. One of the big key factors that Intel is really focused on is AI. Just like every other tech company out there, such as Nvidia and AMD, they've all been focused on AI. They've been going ham on it. Intel has been focused on AI as a result because it's looking to offload the workloads into other areas, such as the VPU. Maybe it doesn't need as much frequency usage from your CPU, and then you will get better performance and also better battery life. So you should expect it to see it in such things such as Meteor Lake H when they do release their laptops, because it's 
looking to really compete again as i mentioned in my prior video they're looking more to compete with apple's m1 and their m2 chipsets instead these meteor lake cpus are really just like apus because they're going to have be focused more on the cpu the vpu now what's really different about meteor lakes processors especially for the laptops is because that they are using ai and they're trying to sideload the workload really into another area into laptop usage it will use less power for your laptop to actually work so you should see a increase in battery and you should also see an increase in performance another thing that intel will do differently is that they are going to get rid of iris xe i don't think anybody really minds missing iris xe because nobody really used it but to get to the point they will be focused more onto using intel's arc which will have better much better features because they will have more compatibility with things such as direct x12 and they will also include ray tracing and other areas to where it can perform better graphically and so really wants to prove to apple that they really missed out on their processors they are also looking away from their seven nanometer nodes instead they're going to focus more into four nanometers as you know intel likes to really focus on hybrid processors they will have a mixture of intel nodes and a mixture of tsmc nodes together so it's going to be pretty interesting to see what type of result that intel will come out with especially this has to be a major move for them otherwise they will risk falling behind amd and apple ecsm also did mention a timeline to where we can expect these brand new 14th generation processors raptor lake is going to be part of that whole 14 generation upgrade to where it's going to look for better frequencies and better compatibility when it comes with ddr5 and pci express 5. the raptor lake refresh will be later this year they're going to have a new 14900k and they will also have the standard 14900 or a standard 14600 so whichever processor that you're looking for they will release both of them in october of 2023 and the other 9k variants will also be released in november and december not only are they looking to improve on their desktop processors but on their workstations as the w2500 and the w3500 so they are looking to upgrade on those ends and that they're looking to really increase their market. I hope you found this content very useful. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you know anybody else who is into PC and tech, make sure you share this video. And also, if not part of the big one of fan band, make sure you go down and hit the subscribe button for more. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. And for all the newest updates, make sure you're following my Twitter handle right here, as it is the same as my TikTok and IG as well. So fan band guys, what do you think of Intel's 14th generation? And what would you like to see? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Chris Mizo signing out.